Geometer Sketchpad allows students to really explore different transformations. Um, in this podcast, I really want to show students how to glide reflect an image, which is first a translation and then a reflection. So, we're going to start off by just translating an image. We're going to draw just an arbitrary triangle, or any image is fine, any shape. I'm going to fill in this triangle just because it makes it easier to decipher but which one the original is and which one are the transformations. So, let's translate this original image across a vector. We're going to label this vector AB. We then are going to select our points, come up to our transform menu, and come down to mark vector. As you can see, an animation goes down the line segment showing that it is marked. Next, we are going to highlight our original triangle, come up to transform, and down to translate. A translate menu comes up. We want to click marked from point A to point B and click translate. Alright, so down here we have our translated triangle. We're going to create a different color for that as well. It's going to be green. All right. As you can see, when you move the line segment AB closer together, our triangles get closer and farther away as the line segment is extended. So, next we have our reflection. Instead of just a line segment, we're going to use a entire line that goes into infinity. Alright, we need to mark this line because this is our line of reflection. So, what we want to do is, just like last time, mark it, but instead of coming up to this transform menu and clicking an option, we can double click the line, and as you can see that animation comes up showing that it is marked. Coming into our original triangle, come up to transform and reflect it across the line. Alright, so let's change the colors again just to decipher between all of our transformations. This gray triangle is now our reflected triangle. So now that we know how to translate and reflect, we're going to move right into our glide reflect transformation. But as you can see, there's no glide reflect options up here, right? So instead, we're going to have to define a custom transformation. So in order to do that, we need to put a point C near our line AB. And let's move the label over so we can see it. Like we translated our green triangle, click the line segment and mark it. I'm going to double click it just to save some time. We then highlight point C, transform, translate. Alright, so we have C prime down here that's been translated. All we got to do is reflect it across the line just like we did our gray triangle. So, marking the line, highlighting C prime, transform, reflect. All right, so we have C double prime now. So, now all we want to do is to define a custom transformation. Select C and C prime only. Come up to transform, define custom transformation, and write glide reflect. Okay, so next we can just hide these points and we, as you can see, we have our glide reflect down here. So, marking our original triangle, come up to transform, click glide reflect, and here is our glide reflected triangle, this 
black triangle down here. So, as you can see, Geometry Sketchpad is great for learning linear transformations and exploring different linear transformations. I hope this was helpful.